a lot going on with the Memphis restaurant scene lately, and who better to find out more than the food and dining editor for the Daily Memphian, Jennifer Biggs. She's joining us from her kitchen in East Memphis tonight. Uh, Jennifer, thanks for joining us. I want to start with the story of the week, really, and that's Memphis area restaurant owners just fed up with crime. I mean, we all are, but you think about what they've been through lately with COVID, uh, their customers' cars being vandalized or stolen now, all the extra security they're having to pay for. Uh, they're pleading for help and answers, but you had an excellent story on how they're not getting much satisfaction, are they? No, they're not. A group of people met uh, with the mayor and the uh, police chief and some other uh, you know, officials a couple of months ago, and they were told, talk to the DA, talk to juvenile court, but it's still nothing has happened and they, it's not that they're saying that they thought something would happen necessarily from that meeting but they did go in with ideas mra the memphis restaurant association followed up with what this independent group did and sent a letter to every elected official saying will you please tell us what you're doing tell us what you're doing to try to stop crime in our parking lots you know of course that there was a, sh a shooting at the parking lot um, that houses Huey's and some other restaurants at Aaron Drop and Poplar on uh, on Sunday night. So that sort of set the set the course for that letter. And uh, they haven't they don't know what will happen from that. What what answers they will get if there are answers to their questions. They have said we will help you. We will be your out uh, within reason. But you have to tell us what you're doing. You can't do nothing because whatever you're doing now is not working. And our cars are being broken into. Our employees' cars are being broken into. Cars are being stolen, and people don't feel safe. Yeah, I feel for them. Uh, on to a more pleasant topic now, and that's a local chef getting some well-deserved national attention. Tamara Patterson, better known as Chef Tam, who owns the Underground Cafe. She's going to be competing this weekend on the Food Network's cooking competition show called Alex vs. America. Tell us about that. Well, she's really excited about this because, as she said, she, she has never called Food Network and asked to be on. Yet this is her sixth TV appearance um, because she's been called. And this time she's competing against an Iron Chef. And she said just knowing that she was asked to do that is an honor. Of course, she can't tell us, uh, tell you know, she can't tell us the outcome. She knows the outcome. We'll find out on Sunday. But she did say that when, once she got there, her Memphis grit and grind comes out. <laughs> Cannot wait. Uh, and a good friend of Patterson's is Chef Eli Townsend, and he's getting ready to open a new place downtown called Dos Hermanos Kitchen. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He's a native Memphian. Uh, Townsend has quite a story to tell, and folks at home, uh, why don't you tell them about the special new venture that he's getting ready to start? Yeah, and I should read the story because his story is very interesting. Growing up in Memphis and how he actually started cooking because he read how, he would check cookbooks out to help his mom at home he, from the bookmobile that would come around. And now he is opening a restaurant inside the renovated Cossett Library on Front Street, which is magnificent, by the way. If you haven't been in the library, you need to go take a look at it. And on Monday... Uh, Dos Hermanos Kitchen will be open, so you can go in, take a look around, and get something. I'm going to get a falafel waffle. That's where I'm headed, <laughs> is for a falafel waffle, I know, yeah. um, at Dos Hermanos from Eli Townsend. Well, we wish him the best of luck. Uh, that's all we have time for tonight. Yeah. But if you want to read more about any of what we talked about, head over to the food section at thedailymemphian.com. That's thedailymemphian.com. Jennifer, my thanks to you as always for being with us, and thanks for keeping us informed about our city's restaurant scene. I know it keeps you very busy.